What's up everybody, Brian Mann here, Hands-On Auto Training. I wanna share with you some information on uh, GMTLC, uh, or should I say GMSPS calibration lookups. I've been getting quite a few calls lately. Uh, shops, you know, I've had this problem for a while, but I have shops that call me and say, hey, your website isn't working right. I'm gonna show you that right here. Check this out. Uh, if you go to Hands-On Auto Training, click on resources. I have some free resources available, some uh, all kinds of good stuff. But anyways, we have the calibration lookup for GM. If I click on this, it is not working. Guys, you know as well as I do that this is a problem. We don't want to have this going on. So that being said, I want to walk through how to go ahead and look up the GM calibrations this day and age. It's changed a little bit. You do have to have a, an account with GM AC Delco. Uh, it's not a big deal. It's free. Anybody can get it. But you can still look up calibrations. Also, just so you know, links will, uh, for this uh, website will be in the description below. If you guys have any interest in buying any of the equipment that I use on a daily basis, be sure to check out the links in the description as well. So let's take a look at my daily driver laptop. This guy right here is my everyday la uh, laptop. You see we're on the acdelcotds.com website. And if I click on the resource tab right here, you will see that we have SPS calibration information. This is where you'll look up your calibrations. If I click on this, it does let me know that, hey, I'm not logged in and you have to log in to use this function. So on the membership site, I do have that uh, uh, GMC TLC uh, suite uh, video course lesson that's going on. I'll teach you how to uh, download, install, and get everything going. Let me go ahead and get logged in here. Creating a uh, account and password, the password is actually kind of challenging to do. They're very specific about how to do it. So we're gonna agree and continue and hit enter. And uh, let's go ahead here to the resource tab again. And we can see here we got the calibration information. Now I'm gonna click on this and I'm just gonna do this live and show you guys how fast it really is or should I say how slow it really is because it, it's not fast by any means. Uh, I'm gonna grab a VIN number from a vehicle I previously worked on. This is a 2014 Buick Verano. Copy that and we're gonna paste this right here and get Cal ID. We're gonna click on this. Uh, we do have to enter in the secret code as they uh, keep the robots out, right? So QB. 2SB7. Uh, the older I get, my eyes are getting tricky on me. It's getting harder to do that, I tell you. You gotta get the readers out. So this is gonna go ahead and load up. Took a little bit of time, not, not much there, a few seconds. But from here we can select whatever modules we wanna look at. Let's take a look at our C, uh, K71, our transmission control module. Now click on this. We can click on programming, it's already highlighted. Now nothing happens until we choose normal or VCI. 99.99% of the time, we're gonna choose normal. Click on normal, and this is gonna go ahead and load up this page. I'm doing this live, so you see how long it takes here. This is not a uh, fast web page or website. I'm not sure why, but I do wanna share with you uh, how long this takes, just so you're familiar with it, so you don't uh, X out of anything. Now, we have a couple options. We can choose individual subsystems, but generally speaking, complete history is where you wanna be, and that's the default. And if we scroll down, you're gonna see that the operating system has one calibration part number, and two part numbers are listed for the transmission, two part numbers are listed for our diagnostic, and uh, two part numbers are listed for our system. Now, what I wanna share with you is, in my experience, I've always thought that the uh, cal latest calibration will be the higher part number, but that may not be true. Um, you would think so, but I, I'm not 100% sure about that, what GM is doing this day and age. Because if you see this new calibration for start of production, it's a 2427. And we have this other calibration, which I believe will be the later one. GM used to put the later ones on top and list them down. It's a 2426. So that being said, you're going to have to use your discretion and do some research and look around to figure out what's going on. This is an example of the transmission control module. Let me take a look and show you the K20, the engine control module here. K20, and we're gonna go click on normal and it's gonna go ahead and load up those calibrations. Like I said, this does take a second for whatever reason, I'll let that roll as it goes here. Uh, but I wanna talk about the fact that if I'm not mistaken, a lot of times I do a lot of programming and I see GMs showing that all the calibrations or many of the calibrations are unrecognized as I'm doing uh, calibrations or you know updating PCMs. 
And it's not that it's the wrong calibration always in the vehicle, it's that GM is kind of deleting the old calibrations out of their system. So when you go ahead and uh, program and it's not a valid calibration or something recent, it just kicks it out and says it's unrecognized. So take a look here at this. We have this page loaded and there's only one subfile for each of the systems. So what I'm going to tell you, uh, based on my experience right here, is that you want to make sure that all your part numbers on the vehicle match this information here. If they don't, you don't have the latest calibrations. I believe that's what's going on. So, so that's how you uh, look up the calibrations this day and age. Now on the membership website, I want to let you know we do have the GM TLC Suite course. I'm still adding many lessons to it, but right now we do have the download and install and setup of TLC, which can be a challenge for those of you that don't know. Uh, so I go through step by step. I believe this is a month ago. I actually uh, did it on a fresh install. So it's pretty cool to see. And we have a lot of categorized uh, videos. What I'm talking about is breaking it down by PCM, ECM, TCM, BCM, whatever, some sort of CM, right? That's what it's all about. But I do appreciate everybody taking the time to watch. Please do like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. If you want to learn more, make sure you go to my membership site. It's $10 a month for the core membership. I have a lot of great information up there to share with you. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.